I've been using a concealer. A, a concealer? I've been using a brush. Wait, what year are we? Oh, I don't even, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Shut up, Soph. It smells amazing. Is this background okay? Is my microphone on? Yes. Hi guys, um, let me know if this background is okay. Obviously my previous video was me completely transforming this room and redoing my filming room slash office. And the majority of people that, oh, hello. I asked you guys to let me know in the comments on that previous video, which background you preferred because at the very end of it I kind of flipped through about four different backgrounds I think but a lot of you were saying that you liked the desk background so I've got my desk here behind me and then a couple of people said to put the little cloud light behind me and I like having a bit of plant in here as well so if you like this background let me know if you think there's anything that I can improve on let me know or if you preferred one of the others. A lot of people said that for more chatty videos, I can do it on my sofa, which I think I am gonna do. So yeah, let me know what you think of the background. Today, I'm gonna be doing a full face of my current favorites because I was gonna do just like a regular current favorites type video, but then I thought actually it might be more useful to put the stuff on my face, you know, then you can actually see them and how they're performing and stuff like that. So that is what I'm gonna do today. I will leave everything linked down below in case you guys are interested. Before we start, let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite at the moment. Could be makeup, could be skincare, could be anything, just anything that is your favorite at the moment. Let me know or any products that you think I should try because, you know, it's kind of what I do here. Always open to suggestion. Just gonna zoom you in. I'm trying to stay hydrated at the moment. If this is your reminder, go and grab yourself a drink. If you haven't drank anything today, do it. So the first product that I'm gonna put on my face, I thought I may as well include this. It's actually a skincare product. This is the Fenty Skin. Hang on, wait, this is confusing, okay. One thing that is amazing about this is you can buy the refills and it's like a refillable thing, which reduces quite a lot of the plastic waste, I believe. Um, I wonder if this actually, the refill bit can be recycled. I'm not sure, but this is called the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer SPF 30. And it just kind of slots into the thing like this. And then what's quite cool about it is when you don't wanna like pump stuff out, you can twist the bottom and it kind of locks it back in there, which I think is really cool. This is a really nice, Moisturizer slash SPF. It feels really hydrating and it is invisible. It doesn't leave any sort of white cast on your skin um, I normally would wear SPF 50 But 30 is kind of like the minimum that I go for on a daily basis just to protect my skin, you know Oh, by the way, I don't have fake tan on at the moment Normally if I was filming I would put on some instant tan but honestly today I just couldn't be bothered so I've just left my natural skin tone which is Totally fine. It also smells really nice. I don't know what the smell is. It has got like a sort of gentle fragrance. Sometimes my skin can react to fragrances, but I don't find that this irritates my skin at all. So yeah, as you can see, it is quite a hydrating um, kind of product. It makes your skin look very glowy. But what I will always usually do with this is put some kind of primer on over the top of it just to make it a little bit, I don't know, what's the word? Like make my makeup last a little bit longer over the top of it. Oh, did I even put a primer in this thing? So if you idiot. So I am gonna prime my skin. This isn't necessarily like a new favorite primer. Um, It's just one that I quite like. I don't really have a particular favorite primer that I wanted to mention in this video because I am just trying to get through my primers and I kind of switch them up on a daily basis. But this one is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I do really like. I think soon I need to do like a big kind of cull of my makeup and get rid of stuff that I don't actually use because I don't know, it just it stresses me out a bit having, <laughs> that sounds like the most ridiculous thing in the world. It stresses me out a bit having so much makeup and kind of holding on to so much of it. I actually just donated a big box of makeup to my local women's shelter, which is something that I would really recommend doing if you have any spares or say you've bought something, for example, and maybe you haven't really used it and it's just been sitting there and you think that somebody else could get better use out of it. A couple people have asked me in the past, like where can they send gently used makeup to. Charity shops don't often take it um, because obviously it has been used, but a lot of the time I have found that women's shelters will take it because obviously um, a lot of the women there have had to leave and leave all of their stuff behind. So next up I have a foundation. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Foundation. I think, did I wear this in my previous not my previous video, but the one before that I think I did. This is the shade 30 Light, which I can just about get away with when I don't have my tan in, as long as I kind of like blend it down my neck a bit, put a little bit of bronzer on my neck. But when I do have my fake tan on, I use the shade 41 
N. I think that's the shade name. Just to be fully transparent, I did actually do a ad with Urban Decay on their Instagram for this on their Instagram, on my Instagram for this foundation, but this is not a sponsored post. Um, they have no idea that I'm mentioning this. I'm under no obligation to feature it in anything ever again, but it is genuinely one of my favorites. I've really been loving it this month. And I think somebody did mention, I'm just taking this brush. Oh, by the way, this is another one of my favorites. The easiest brush in the world. It's such a big brush. It just blends everything out really quickly. It's the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F01 brush. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you like the patterns that I've just drawn on my face with this? But yeah, somebody mentioned um, in one of my previous videos where I spoke about how I haven't been going for fully matte products anymore. And they made a very good point, which I think is when I was younger and like when we are younger in general, obviously not for everyone, but for people that do have oily skin, you kind of want to do everything when you're younger to make yourself look matte and dry. And I used to just want my skin to be fully matte and then I would add the highlights back in myself. But I've definitely found over the past kind of year, um, as I'm getting a little bit older, I'm not old by any means, I'm only 24, but as I am, you know, moving through my 20s, I am finding that in order for my skin to look a bit younger, I'm kind of preferring to look a little bit more dewy and glowy. Um, I don't know if anybody else sort of is finding the same, but sometimes I find now that if I wear my makeup fully matte, it makes me look a bit more wrinkly. Yeah, it. I feel like it ages my skin a little bit. Um, so I definitely have been going for products that are a little bit more on the glowy side, more than I used to, definitely. Um, so yeah, I've really been loving this foundation. I think if you have dry skin, you will love this foundation because it does feel hydrating. And any dry patches that I've got, it just kind of like skims over them. Yes, I look extremely glowy right now because I've got three big lights, bright lights shining on me. But how beautiful does my skin look? Okay, maybe it looks a bit much. And I do add a little bit of powder, but it just blends so nicely. You don't need that much of it. You can kind of just put on a little bit and it's sort of like a tinted moisturizer, or you can put on as much as I just did. And it's quite a good coverage foundation. I would say it's like medium buildable. What does this claim to be? Um, medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. I mean, I can't comment on that because I haven't worn it for 24 hours, but yeah. I mean, yes, it does get more oily throughout the day than some of my other matte foundations, but it's kind of to be expected because it's more glowy. This is the foundation I've been going for if I'm in a rush, as well as the products that I'm about to show you. I've got some cream products that I put on the rest of my face. So for my concealer, this is the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. This is a new concealer, right? but it's very similar to their previous liquid concealer that I really liked. Every time, I can't even remember what it's called, but it was one of my favorite products of 2020, I think, the Bare Minerals Liquid Concealer. This is a new one, um, but it feels quite similar, but I think it's just got a little bit more coverage. I've got the shade Fair 1N, which is more of a shade for when I do have tan on, but I can just about get away with it with this foundation. But I think I will still bring like a bit of bronzer down my neck. The main thing that I love about these concealers is the applicator. It's so flexible and it feels so soft and it just applies so nicely. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit here, put a little bit on my nose, around the sides of my nose, and then just on any areas of like redness. And when I'm in a rush, what I have been doing, like if I can't really be bothered to go and clean or wet my beauty blender, I've been using a concealer, a, a concealer? I've been using a brush to blend out most of my makeup. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this. Um, I was lucky enough to be invited to a little Bare Minerals event thing that they did last week and they played this video of Hayley Bieber who's one of their ambassadors. Um, there was a little demo of her kind of using this and I think they've also got a new foundation coming out as well but I tried the concealer on that day and I was like oh I really like it. It just feels quite lightweight but it gives pretty decent coverage but I do feel like it's very comparable to their previous liquid concealer so if you like that one you'll probably love this one as well. Oh and this brush is the Spectrum A29 brush. This was part of the Disney Villains Cruella de Vil collection which is why it's like the two-tone one. Powder that I've been using again recently, rediscovered my love for this, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This one is the shade 05 which is fair. I also use the shade uh, 10 which is when I've got a bit of tan on. This is it's pretty much translucent. It's just a really nice loose powder and I used to talk about this all the time. Haven't used it in quite a while because you can't buy it in Super Jug or Boots in the UK. You can only get this on Amazon or like some other websites that sell American products. I don't know why the UK doesn't sell these specific powders, but 
they're really, really good. And even paying 10, I, you know, I would pay 10 pound for it on Amazon um, just to get a replacement. But I did actually stock up on like three of them when I went to America, like a year and a half ago, maybe. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes just to stop them from creasing too much. And again, this is another one of the brushes from the Corella Deville collection. I definitely got something in my eye about five seconds ago and it's kind of burning, but I'm just gonna ignore it and hope it goes away. It feels like I've put like mint in my eye. My eye feels very cool <laughs> and refreshed. By the way, I swear this is like the quickest little makeup routine when I'm not chatting for like 20 minutes. So I'm still using and loving the Sosu contour stick, which a lot of people know about because I did mention this in my um, previous like 2020 favorites. Wait, what year are we? Yes, 2020 favorites. But another product that I have to talk about because I've been using this all the time recently off camera is the Made by Mitchell liquid blusher in the shade Peach Sugar. I did do a testing video on all of his makeup, but this is such a nice product and you will see why. So while I'm looking like a shiny disco ball, um, I'm gonna do my cream, well, I say cream contour. It's more of a cream bronzer because this is very warm toned. It's literally the shade warm. But I don't mind a bit of a warm bronzery contour. I'm not a professional. It's just what I enjoy. And then again, I use the same brush, which I definitely need to wash. <laughs> but um, yeah, I find that doing your cream products with the same brush that you used for your foundation kind of just blends everything together really nicely. The thing that I love about this cream bronzer is that it just blends so easily. You just kind of tap it and it just melts into your skin. I still need some on my neck. I'll sort out my neck in a sec. Oh, that rhymes. For my nose, I'm using the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F12 brush, which is just like a little angled concealer brush. And it's just a good one to blend out cream nose products. Cream nose products? Oh, I don't even, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Also, please let me know down below, how are you doing? Um, Hopefully people are feeling a bit more positive since the UK government announced that from the 29th of March we're going to be able to meet up to six people outside, that includes in a garden, which I personally cannot bloody wait for, I cannot wait to see my friends in the garden, um, see my family in the garden, see my brother again, I'm so excited for that, um, and it just gave me you know, a bit more hope and positivity. Let me know actually, like if you're from somewhere other than the UK, what are your rules with COVID at the moment? Because every country has its own different rules. Okay, so I'm then taking the blush, which does have a doe foot applicator. And I'm just gonna put a bit of this on my cheeks, tiny little bit on my nose. And again, just using, am I still filming? Yeah, just using the same brush to just kind of tap and blend it into my skin. And it's such a pretty blush colour. Oh wow, it's really raining outside. I just love how it blends out and it's such a pretty peachy colour. And I think this will actually show up on a lot of different skin tones. He does have quite a few shades of these. I think there's five or six different shades, but it's very pigmented. So you just need a very small amount. If I am just popping out quickly and I want to look somewhat a bit more presentable, I will just go out looking this glowy because it doesn't look as crazy in the natural lighting as it does on camera in front of all of my lights. But I am just gonna powder my face um, some people might say this is counterproductive, but you know what? It works for me. It doesn't kind of set down to be as matte as my other foundations, if that kind of makes sense. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, another cream blush that I've really been loving is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in 02 Pepple, Pepple? <laughs> Petal Poppin, which, ooh, okay, mine looks disgusting because I've, like, dug my brush in there quite a lot. It's also a really nice easy cream blush. I'm just gonna add a very small amount of powder bronzer. This one is the Beauty Bay bronzer in Fawn. Bit of bronzer on my neck. Then for my highlighter, I have absolutely been loving and a lot of people have asked me to test this in a video. I don't need to test it on camera. Well, I mean, I'm gonna show you it obviously. Shut up, Soph. This is the Steph Toms and Ofra collaboration highlighter in the shade Milk and Cookies. Not only is this a stunning duo highlighter. It smells amazing. Steph sold out on Beauty Bay in the first like couple hours of this going on the website. I think it then sold out on Ofra's website, but they are restocking it. I've just got to say, Steph, if you're watching this, congratulations. I've already sent it to her. She's great. And this highlighter, 
honestly like could not I could not think of a more hard-working person that this could go to because she works so bloody hard she has loved Ofra stuff for years and I'm so excited for her and it's such a gorgeous product I really like as well how there's like two different tones in here there's a slightly darker more bronzy tone which is a bit too dark for me um but would be beautiful on more like medium and deeper skin tones and then there's also the lighter shade or you can mix them together hopefully in the summer i can actually get down to cornwall and maybe we could film like an in-person collab but i'm just using the shade i don't know if it's milk or cookies oh i think it's the shade milk the lighter one like look at this it's got this like amazing sort of vanilla scent and it's just beautiful like look oh by the way i do have a discount code for ofra's website it is an affiliate code so if anybody's not comfortable with that that's totally fine you don't have to use it but my code is just soaf and it gets you 20 percent off of ofra's website ofra highlighters like yes they're a little bit more on the pricey side but they're just so good and you need such a small amount of them like you don't need to rub your brush in there you literally just do this and even that is too much yeah you need such a small amount so yes i haven't had this for very long because it only came out like what last week um but i could tell straight away from when i put this on it's just stunning it's so beautiful i just love it steph well done you've made a great one on to my eyebrows two products that i've been using quite a lot recently um and i did actually mention this one in a video this is the number seven beautiful eyebrows tinted gel in the shade brown and then also as well the bare minerals brow master sculpting pencil looks like this it's kind of like a narrow let's see can you even tell the sort of shape of it i don't really know if you can and these products in combination are just really nice I think the reason I keep going back to this one is because it's a really good shade for me. I do kind of wish the pencil was a little bit skinnier. It would be a little bit easier to work with, but I really like the colour and it goes on really easily. So I've been using it quite a lot. Oh, have I just made those eyebrows way too bold and scary looking? It's all good. I'm just going to take the spoolie and kind of like blend that out just a little bit and then i'm going in with the number seven brow gel the only thing is you do get quite a lot of product on here when it comes out so you kind of have to make sure that you wipe off some of that excess but again i just think it's quite a nice color for me also as well if anybody has any netflix recommendations please let me know my netflix recommendations for you if you're into like sort of drama crime what's the word crime investigation dramas there's a really good one on netflix called white house farm i think is what it's called we ended up binge watching it in like a day i think there's six episodes they're 45 minutes long it's really good um and also as well i've been watching rupaul's drag race uh, the UK one and the US one and was absolutely heartbroken that there was not an episode last week of the US Drag Race on Netflix. The UK one is on BBC3, BBC iPlayer. I hadn't really got into Drag Race before but I'm now so into it and I've even got James into it as well. We absolutely love it. Then moving on to the eyes, something that I have been absolutely loving just in general over the past few months since I discovered them, I think I first used a cake eyeliner or like a water activated eyeliner back in 2020 when Anastasia Beverly Hills launched their cake liners and they are just such easy colorful eyeliners and now loads of different brands have brought them out. I've got the Anastasia ones which are expensive um, but they have some really cool like neon colors and stuff. The Makeup by Tammy ones are really nice as well. Good old Super Jugs Barry M have got the High Viz water activated colors and i have used a couple of these in videos over the past few months the frustrating thing with these is i couldn't find all of the colors on their website but the white one is really nice um today i think i'm actually going to try one of the brighter colors because i haven't used all of these oh you know what i could go with orange to match my yeah let's do it i'm gonna go for the orange one to match my sweatshirt this one is the high vis water activator color in the shade potency it just looks like this and you just activate it with a bit of water i actually use a little bit of this which is the jake jamie tropical quench essence spray from revolution oh and the brushes that i use for this i just got in a set on either amazon or ebay Give it one spritz of that into there. Should I zoom you in a little bit? I just think they're a really cool way to kind of make your makeup a little bit more creative and interesting because you can kind of add them over the top of any type of look that you're doing. I just think they're quite fun for sort of like switching up your look. And I've just brought that into my inner corners as well. There we go. Obviously, I've just got to wait for them to fully dry down. Then before I do my lashes, I'm going to put on some mascara 
Mascara that I'm still absolutely loving, the Maybelline Sky High with my mascaras again. It's one of those things where I have got so many open that I'm trying to use up different ones. Mostly on a daily basis, I will just open my mascara drawer and kind of pick whichever one I'm feeling that day. But this Maybelline Sky High has been a solid favorite since I tested it a couple weeks ago in a video. And then also actually as well, I did a ad with Maybelline on TikTok for this mascara. But that was after I'd done my video, so I filmed that video and uploaded it, tried it for you guys, and then they got in touch and were like, do you want to do a TikTok with us? And I was like, uh, yes. Maybe I won't even put eyelashes on today. I'll see how I'm feeling in a minute. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I got it on my nose, and I'll deal with that in a minute. Oh no! I've just noticed that where it hadn't like fully dried, it's transferred to my crease. This orange one is actually taking its time to dry. The white one dried really quickly, but this orange one is still kind of wet, which is a little bit concerning. Maybe I should add a little bit of loose powder to it or something. I kind of think I like this look without eyelashes, actually. I don't think I necessarily need them, because it's just quite simple, isn't it? For some reason, this orange eyeliner doesn't seem to be setting down, so I'm just setting it with a little bit of orange eyeshadow. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That was just me, I guess, assuming that all of them would have the same formula or maybe i used a little bit too much liquid um i don't actually know that was really strange because the white one dries pretty matte how bizarre and then finally some favorite products for my lips this lip combination is so nice it's the body shop lip definer and i don't understand why did the body shop not write the names of the lip liner anywhere on it. I'm not sure which shade this is, but I will leave it linked down below. The other lip product that I use on top of this is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Swing. These velvet lip glides, I really hope are still available and I really hope that they weren't like limited edition or something. Let me actually just check. Okay, phew, they are still available. These are 23 pounds and they come in a whole different like bunch of shades. This one is the shade Swing. The name Velvet Lip Glide just sums these up so perfectly because that is what it feels like on your lips. I'm just gonna go in with the lip liner first. And then I'm gonna go in with the NARS product. Not only does it smell amazing, it smells like vanilla -y and just like dessert. I just wanna eat it. The formula is just, let me put it on and then I'll explain it. Okay, I forget how much darker lip products look when I don't have any tan on. I feel like maybe with this orange eyeliner, I would go for a lip that's a little bit lighter. But the formula of this is not like a gloss. What even is that texture? Like, it's not sticky at all. Like, at all. It almost feels like a lip balm slash oil. That's kind of how I'd describe it. It feels like a lip oil, but then it's got that pigment in it so they're really pigmented but it just feels so nice on your lips and it has a really nice strong color the only thing is it would get a bit messy like if you're eating a burger or something it is going to slide around your face but you know mo for the most part doing general stuff like i would recommend these but with so many of nas's products like they're expensive but they're really nice and like i can see why people like them so there we go that is a full face of my current makeup favorites. So I'm just going to answer a question of the day. If you guys have got any more questions for me, please leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day as always, because if you put the hashtag, it comes up in blue and then it's a lot easier for me to find it in the comments. Today's question is drag race related and it comes from Madeleine Burnett. Hopefully I just said your name right. She said, hi Soph, hope you're well. Thank you. I hope you're well too. We all have been bored in this third lockdown and we're watching a lot more Netflix. So who is your favorite queen in season 13 of drag race? So this is about the American US drag race. My favourites are Olivia Lux and Got Mick. Um, yeah, I would say that those are my two faves, but I would be happy if either of them won. Also, Rosé is actually kind of growing on me. If you watch Drag Race, let me know who your favourite queens are as well. That is it from me. I hope you guys are all doing good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the background and if there's anything I can do to switch it up or change it or anything. I'm going to go get myself some lunch and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!